OMG, I can't believe it's the same stinking, filthy Uber from last night. I'm not even going to trip out about it. Just the fact that I'm getting closer to seeing my bestie is putting my mind somewhat at ease. The car is still filthy and smelly, but the music is still good. I just zoned out until we arrived at my bestie's house. After 10 minutes of singing in the back seat, we finally pulled up to my bestie's house. I gladly hopped out of the Uber and told the driver to wait for me. I get to the front door and start banging on the door in both anger and excitement, screaming for my bestie to come and open up the door, calling her from the window and everything. After about a few minutes of banging, knocking, and screaming, I was getting no answer at the door. The Uber driver then starts to yell out to me, No one is home? Let's go, I have more calls waiting. Obviously, he was rushing me, so I hopped back in the Uber, and we proceeded to go to the address from last night. This car is making me so sick, I think I'm going to throw up. I'm about to make him pull over. Damn, I must have thrown up everything I ate yesterday. Though this car is awful, the Uber driver is so polite. He came out to help me. He even held my hair back so I wouldn't get vomit in my hair. He also gave me a bottle of water. I feel so bad because I was prejudging just because his car is filthy. He's a nice guy. Maybe I owe him an apology, but not today. Right now I am on a mission. Here we go again. Two minutes away from the address and I'm starting to get more anxious and nervous. Here we are. But wait, is that who I think it is? Tell me that is not my ex-boyfriend Brian, standing outside talking to that bimbo sir talk a lot from the mall yesterday. Oh yeah, he definitely has some explaining to do. I'm inside the house now but I jumped out of that Uber as if it was on fire. Maybe it wasn't actually on fire, but I sure do know that I certainly was. I approached both losers and asked what is going on here and where the hell is my bestie? Sir Talk a lot was trying to smooth talk me and calm me down as if I didn't have a reason to be highly upset. He said, calm down, your bestie is right upstairs with my boy, she's in good hands. He then said, I see you couldn't handle those gummies yesterday. Right then and there is when I lost it. I lashed out something horrible. I punched him square in his face so hard that he fell to the ground and started snoring. That's when my ex-boyfriend Brian grabbed me and shoved me into the house. Brian was yelling at me, but I was so mad I wasn't hearing a word he was saying. I took a few breathers and then I calmly sat down on the living room couch and asked Brian, please tell me where my bestie is. He said, She's upstairs about to come down and talk to you. Brian then proceeded to tell me that my bestie was worried sick about me, saying that she lost me at the mall after we all ate a few gummies. But that is impossible because I don't remember eating any gummies at the mall yesterday. I remember seeing her getting up and disappearing with that boy. Wait, now I can't seem to remember what happened after that. I yelled at Brian to get my bestie out here now. Someone definitely has some explaining to do.